Hi everyone, Ali Barian here once again, your resident road safety expert and back for another Q&A session. Uh, before we go along, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, you'll get all your regular updates of any questions we've answered. And also, uh, if you've got any questions after the day, please fire them through. And we're always getting questions and we're always happy to answer them. And we'll find the right answer for you and we'll get it through to you. So here we have another question that's coming through today um, about transporting children around and it's come through from Travis. So Travis has got a 2011 Grand Kia Carnival and uh, basically he said, as my family is expanding, I would like to have or I need to have three shoulder seatbelts for the rear seat. Currently there's only two. So in the back of his vehicle, he's only got uh, two shoulder seatbelts and one lap belt in the middle. That's the way I'm reading it here. Um, and basically what he wants to do is he wants to change that middle one to a lap and such seatbelt. And he wants to know what should he do? Should he remove the seat and put in a new aftermarket seat? Or should he basically, can it be converted? So that's actually a really good question and it's a common um, thing that's inquired. So it's really good that you are aware of the fact that the over-the-shoulder lap and such seat belts are much safer because they are. Those lap belts are kind of an old technology and we don't recommend them. However, in some vehicles, they're still there. Um, and they're just there, like the new regulations are all that they don't have to be there, but in some vehicles, like older model vehicles and things like that, they're still there as those older models run out. Now, what do you do if you've got them there? If you've got them there, um, we advise that you try not to use them if you, if you basically can. Um, but if you're in Travis's situation where your family might be expanding, then you've got a couple of options. So in that vehicle, um, you, can, you can convert a lap to a lap sash seatbelt. Um, but the conversion of that is going to cost you, it is going to cost you a couple of grand, probably, in Australia. Um, looking at, I guess, the recent uh, things that we've seen, something like that with an a A-frame device or some kind of steel device or steel reinforcement, it's going to um, probably cost you somewhere around about two to $3,000 to get done. So it is quite expensive. However, the alternative, as you've uh, suggested, is to pull all the seats out and put aftermarket seats in there. So aftermarket seats, again, they're also possible. Um, you will have to get your car measured up to get new seats put in there. So you'd have to get someone like us or, or another organization like one of our dealers and you can go onto our website and look them up. Um, you can look them up and you can see that go up to them and they can measure your vehicle. And basically you can say, okay, will this thing fit? The aftermarket seats, will they fit or not? In terms of pricing though, it's around about the same kind of pricing. So it just depends on what you like the look of. Um, an aftermarket seat is again around that two and a half to three thousand dollars. So do you like the look of the aftermarket seat? Do you like the look of the other one? Um, and what's that? And that's really what it's going to come down to. In terms of safety, they're both going to offer you the same amount of safety. They're tested, tested and developed to the same requirements. Um, so that's basically what it is. So and just a quick little clarification as to why it would um, it would cost so much money. So I'll bring a seat here forward. And in this seat, we'll just pretend that this is an automotive seat, right? Now in this seat, uh, there, there was a, a lap belt, so the seat belt just went across the lap only. Now if I was to transfer the belt to a shoulder belt, then what's gonna happen is the seat belt is gonna come over the top of this shoulder and it's gonna put a massive force on the actual top of the seat belt. And if the seat is not designed for it, it's going to break the seat and it's going to basically cr potentially crush whatever's sitting there as well. So what you need to do is you need to actually pull the seat apart or you need to build a steel frame behind the seat in order to take that load so it doesn't put it on the seat and the occupant there is protected and they've got that over the shoulder seat belt. So that's also one option. Uh, and another option, again, it just depends on your affordability, um, is to basically trade in for a newer car. So that's something also we recommend to look at. In general, modifications and aftermarket seats and things like that, they are great and they're safe, but nothing's ever going to be as good as what the factory offers you. So if you can afford it, and if you can look at that as a serious option, upgrade to the newer vehicle with the uh, over-the-shoulder seatbelts, that's what we would always recommend as your number one choice, and then the other choices that we mentioned there and there. So thanks again, Travis, for your question, and thanks for listening, and um, any questions that you've got after today, fire away. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our page, head over to our Facebook and like that as well, and uh, thanks very much. Enjoy.